Hello everyone and welcome back to Keep It English. Today we're going to talk about verbs to introduce sports. And these are to go, to do and to play. So let's get started. So how do you introduce a sport in English? Well, we never say to practice a sport. This is an error. We only use the verb practice for musical instruments. To express sports in English, select one of the three verbs, depending on the sport. Here are the rules. First of all, if the sport uses a ball, such as a football, tennis or baseball, use the verb to play. For example, he plays football or we play rugby. Secondly, if the sport does not use a ball, but usually happens outside, such as skiing, swimming or cycling, use to go. For example, he goes cycling twice a week or she used to go skiing when she was younger. We used to go to reflect that you have to go to another location to do these sports. Finally, if your sport is without a ball that usually happens inside a gym, such as aerobics, yoga or boxing, use to do. For example, she did yoga last year or he does a bit of boxing at the weekends. So to recap, with a ball, to play. Without a ball, but outside, to go. Without a ball, but inside, to do. Got that? Okay, to practice, I will give you a sport and you tell me whether it is with to play, to go or to do. Ready? Okay, hockey. Hockey is played with a ball, and so it is to play hockey. Karate. Karate is without a ball and happens inside, so it is to do. Ice skating. Ice skating does normally happen inside, it's true, but it was traditionally an outside sport and you need to go to another location and so it is to go ice skating. Horse riding. This one should be easy. It's to go horse riding. Basketball. The clue is in the title. There's a ball and so it is to play basketball. Gymnastics. To do gymnastics, of course. Ballet. We pronounce the word in the French way, and so you omit the sound of the T to make ballet. Anyway, it's to do ballet. Surfing. Correct, to go surfing. And finally, cricket. Cricket is a sport played in the UK, India, Australia and other countries. It's like baseball. It has a ball and so it is to play cricket. And so there you have it, verbs for sport. To recap on any of the information, go to lesson notes below or to practice, go to the quiz. See you next time.